it's Thursday, and here you are for some more drawing, you have made a very good decision. Because let me tell you folks, right now it's tough out there. Things are weird, things are crazy, and things are a little bit scary. But what can take your mind off of all of that? How about a little healthy drawing together? Now, as you know, in the Draw Along Show, all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. If you want to draw with something else, like a stick or a crayon or a nice long uh, foil, you know, the sword for fencing, that you could dip it some ketchup and then draw all over the carpet. It doesn't matter to me. But we could follow along for a nice 10 minute, you draw it, like every other show. Yeah, in just about 10 minutes, you come up with a really nice drawing together. Okay, no problemo. Then we're gonna go today into favorite books. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite books. I do that from time to time. And we'll finish with the animal and activity game where you tell me an animal that you really like, doing something really funny, really strange, like, uh, weird, unexpected, and I'll draw that for you at the end of the show. And that is on the menu for today. Um, how are you all sleeping out there? Hope you're sleeping well, hope you're resting well. Uh, you know, I'm so good at sleeping, I could do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> okay, time to draw. Let's say hi to some folks in the chat. We have Stephen and Mercurial, hello, and Sherry and Sam, hello, hello, and Sydney and RB, and Richard, how's it going? And I see Misty is here as well, lots of good folks joining us uh, today. So why don't we get started? Now, to do this drawing, as usual, you have to be able to do three simple things. Straight line, zigzag, or a curvilinear line. Okay, that could be a C curve. Looks like a U like that. Looks like a C. Looks like a backward C. Looks like a this. Looks like a that. Whatever. Curvilinear line. And that is all you need to do these drawings. Okay, so why don't we get cracking? This is a fun one today. And it's going to have to do with outer space. Okay, are you ready? We are going to start today a little differently than usual, which means we're going to start with a diagonal line. And this diagonal line is going to be very close to horizontal, but it's going to have just a slight angle to it like that. Okay, step one, step one. All right, now, step two. We're going to kind of make a right angle from there, all right? But it's going to be a little bit more acute. Acute, not cute. Some angles are cute, I guess. But this one's going to be acute, meaning it's a little less than a 90 degree angle. And we're going to go a slightly longer distance than we traveled here. Check it out. We're going to go like that, about that far. How far is it? I'd say about one and a half times the length of that first line, somewhere in that vicinity. You want to make it a little longer? Go for it. Can't make this one really too long. Making it too short, though, could be problematic a little later. All right, now that is the, uh, those are the first two lines. The third line is going to follow the same angle as this line here. And it's gonna travel about the same distance, but it's actually gonna be a little longer because we're gonna wanna square it off at the end. Check it out. Up, 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 to about there. And then we just connect those two. Alrighty? And that is the beginning of our drawing. I'll just erase that little overhang. But you don't have to. Don't be so picky. Don't be as picky as I am with your drawings. You want to do that, right? All right, that is the beginning. Next, we're going to look at the distance we have, okay, from here to here. And we're going to say, okay, if I were to drop a line straight down, right, what would be about the middle of that, that distance from here down to here, from here to here? About the middle. I'm going to draw a line down to about that spot, okay? About the middle, maybe slightly above it. And then I'm just going to curve it out like that. See that tiny little curve? It's like the letter J there at the bottom. Whoop! Just like that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to leave a little space and I'm going to draw the line further down. I'm still not going to go quite as far as here. Check it out. Further down we go and stop right about there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slight angle coming up here. We're going to draw up to about this way. Da -da 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 -da, right about like that. Leave a little space right there, okay? And uh, maybe some of you can already see what that is. What that is, I wonder. Alrighty, now we're gonna make a little triangle right here, okay? I'm gonna start about here, and I'm gonna come down to here, and I'm gonna go a little farther down. Check it out, zip, like that. And here comes the triangle part, I just close it off. So down and up, see that? That's a nice little zigzag, isn't it? And then we're gonna take this line here and we're just gonna bring it down whoop, like that. See that? So up and down, we have a little triangle right there, okay? 
And speaking of triangles, I'm about to make another one. I'm going to draw a line straight out this way, and I'm going to stop where this uh, line here would intersect if it were to continue. So look, I'm just going to come out to about there, okay? And to complete the triangle, I'm going to come up to this corner, just like this. Bum, 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 bum. All right, that's the beginning of our drawing. Pretty interesting right here, pretty interesting. All right, next step for everybody. Now, this is going to be the longest line we've yet uh, we've drawn yet. Actually, it's, it's probably going to be about the same length as this one. I don't want to tell a fib there. I don't want to tell a fib. About the same distance. Now, it's not going to be perfectly up and down. It's actually going to angle slightly out this way, but very slightly. Check it out. Down we go. Stop right about there. Hmm. So if I were to take that line and compare it with this one, I guess it's about the same length. About the same, about the same. Okay, now from this little intersection here, okay, where all these lines converge and meet at that point, we're gonna draw a line straight out this way, okay? Now look at the angle we drew here. We're gonna actually draw this one a little closer to horizontal, okay? So I'm gonna make myself a target if I want. You can always do that. You can give yourself a little dot or something like that. Um, but I'm not gonna draw it so long yet. It will eventually become very long. But just to start out with, I'm only going to take it as far as where this spot is here. Okay, check it out. Just like this, like that. Okay, see like if I were to drop a line down, it's roughly about there. And don't you worry if you've gone farther because we're going to take that even farther still a little later in the drawing. Alrighty gang. Okay, now parallel with this line here, I'm just going to draw a line and I'm gonna stop a little shorter, okay? Not quite as far down as there. And I'm gonna inch my way over this way, and I'm gonna draw another diagonal line, only this one is gonna have a slightly different angle. It's gonna come down like that. Okay, now see where it stops? Right, it stops right about where that one is, or a little lower even, okay? And then I'm just gonna cut across like that. Same distance, one and two. Okay, and then a little bump upwards like that. See, not straight up, a little angle to it, okay? And then we go one, and check it out. We're gonna go two, three, four, see that? Okay, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna take a fifth one and we're going to take it back like this, all the way to where that one is, and then just keep on going like that. Keep on going. And then look at this angle here. I'm just going to match that. Just come up same way. Mm hmm. Interesting. All right, now above here, I'm going to do this. Horizontal line, same, about the same length as this one, okay? One. And then two, three, four. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to draw a line connecting them and stopping a little bit further. See that? It comes past that little bit right there, a little bit. And then right where you see this line right here, okay, this horizontal line right here, I can imagine I come out a little farther and draw a little line like that. Hmm, what's that all about? What's that all about? You shall see. All right, now from the center of that line, I'm gonna draw a line back in this direction. Okay, excellent. So far so good out there? All right, now this line we have here, okay, I want you to imagine it's gonna pass through here and then it's gonna just keep on going a little farther. Okay, just like that. And then I want you to come back over here. Now, just a bit past where this line touches that line. Okay, just a bit past. I'm going to come down at the same angle here. I'm going to stop right there. See that? Stopping right there. Just a little bit lower than that little spot right there. And then I'm going to angle out this way. Okay, cool. 
All right, now what we want to do is we want to connect these two. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfectly horizontal. I'll just make this a little longer though, so I can do that mostly horizontal line right there. But it does not have to be, that is not important. And then a little line right there. Okay. Now we're gonna do some decoration. We're gonna do some lines that are gonna travel just like this. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then here, opposite direction, two, three. Just pop those back there. A little decoration right there. Now come up here and just draw a little, little dash right there. Mm-hmm. What did I just do there? I drew an eye. That's an eye, believe it or not. These simplified drawings. It's fun to use these, these this kind of stylization, right? All right, I want to take this line now. See, I've zoomed out so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it further down like this. Okay. And then further down still, what I'm actually drawing here is imagine this is hips, okay? I'm going to draw the length of a leg. Now you want to ask yourself, well, how far is that? Okay, look at the distance from this point to the bottom of this shirt we draw in here, okay? Take that and double it, right? Double it. All right, now here, same thing. We're coming down to there. Boop, 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 boop. All right, it's a little shorter or longer. Don't you worry about it because we're gonna do something cool there. All righty, now come all the way over here, past the halfway point, past the halfway point to about here. If I were to draw this straight down to here, that's about where we're going. And follow that same angle like this and stop a little bit short of where that one is. Now look at the width between here and here, and I want you to kind of match that right here. Da, 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 da. Leg number one, leg number two, and then we just zoop, cut those off like so. We'll see why in a moment. All right. Now keep this line going even further, like that. Hmm? A little further still. And here we go. And then a little further. Ta-da. Cool. Remember this decoration we did here? Let's, let's do that again. One and a two. And a one and a two. All right. Coming back up here now. This is going to be a cape. I want you to see what we do. We're going to carry this out, same direction, but then we're going to do a little curve. Watch this. I go out and then I curve it up and then back. So it's out, curve up, and back. Interesting. Now look at this line here, okay? I want you to just jump in this way and start from here, not from here, start from here. And I want you to just travel that same kind of angle like this. We're going to come down through here and then we're going to connect to there. This is a long line, isn't it? We're going to go through and curve to connect. Interesting. And then from here, we're going to curve up towards here. Okay, check it out. C curve, long, long C curve. And there's our cape. Isn't that cool? It's like the cape is blowing back. Blowing back that way. Mm hmm. Maybe asking yourself, what about the feet? What about the feet? Ah, well, check this out. This person is standing in some mist, some misty cool stuff. So we're going to do a C curve like this. Okay. And then another smaller one like that. And then one behind like that. We do another one. Boom. Boom. See these? Make these little C curves. You say, oh, how dramatic standing in some kind of misty, misty mist, huh? How interesting. And then right here, this is the kicker, guys. Straight from here, leave some space. We're gonna go straight up, all righty. And then we're gonna go, bam, bam, lightsaber. Now it's up to you how you wanna customize this drawing, okay? Lots of things you can do. You can add some cool hair to this person, Right? How do you want this person to look? Add some cool hair coming down. Give them a smile, give them a frown. Do some other decorations, okay? Give them a different kind of a setting. Maybe put a tree in the background, I don't know. Maybe you wanna take your lightsaber and you wanna do something neato like this. You wanna go wow, 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 wow. Little, 
wobbly lines on the side to show that it's really bright and shimmering. Hmm? What do you think? We have drawn ourselves a Jedi. Here's a cool tip for the, the hood. Check this out. I'll start about here and I'm gonna do like a little, little line like that. And then a zigzag. It's like the folds in the hood, you know? Cool tip, you can just try that yourself. See what happens, right? I wanna make some like lines in the pants to make it more interesting. Sure, why not? Go for it, go for it. Okay, it's your Jedi. Very, very fun. There you go. Draw some Jedi, right? Why not? That's a kind of an interesting departure from the norm here on the show. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, it is time now for me to show you one of my favorite books. And uh, that book is just delightful. Here it comes. This is... Ta-da! Can you all see that? At the same moment, around the world, Maybe some of you are familiar with this beautiful book. It's really tall. This, this book is taller than the average. Look at this. See how long and skinny it is? Okay. And what's lovely about this uh, is the idea for the book is that we just travel around the world at the same time of day to see what's going on. Okay. And because of all the time zones, sometimes it's night, sometimes it's day, different activities and also different cultures in different parts of the world. Um, beautiful little book. And... You know, it starts out here in Senegal. It's morning and they're counting the fish they've caught, father and son. The illustrations, by the way, are so cool. They're a combination of paint and colored pencil. Um, and here we're moving over to France. It's a little later in the day. Uh, and then here we are in Baghdad. Okay, nine o'clock in the morning, right? And then we're moving on to Uzbekistan and the Himalayan mountains, okay? Really, really great. I highly recommend checking this out. It's such a cool idea for a book. It's beautifully illustrated. Um, lots of lots of color and uh, cool characters throughout. And um, every, every spread is just uh, a delight with plenty of details to search through and um, really enjoy. I love these little details as well, like things that just, you know, are, are just so interesting, like a little origami crane is uh, flying here in the sky. Um, anyway, absolutely lovely. And as I said, the drawings are, are really spectacular and, and very uh, fantastic and, and whimsical and colorful and beautifully done. Now, the uh, author of this book is Clotilde Perrin. I hope I'm saying that right. Perrin looks like a French name, P-E-R-R. I N Clotilde Perrin, and uh, she uh, has done just a lovely, lovely job with this drawing uh, book, and I just love it. I love it. Haven't seen any other work by her. I assume she's probably done some other illustrated books as well. But there it is for you. Check it out at the same moment around the world. Clotilde Perrin, and uh, yeah, that's my one of my favorite books, and that's the one I wanted to talk about today. Um, and we're now gonna move on to the animal and activity. You have to tell me an animal you love and I will draw it doing something funny, something weird, something strange, something uh, bizarre. You get the idea. And, uh, oh, hey, I hear something. You know what that means. Appreciation station. Misty. Misty, we're appreciating you today. Um, I was never very good at espionage, uh, but your advice helped me to recover those secret documents um, from that lab in Berlin and we were able to finally put the bad guys away for good. And if you hadn't uh, given me all that great coaching on how to zip line correctly, I don't think we would have achieved that and escaped with our lives. So thank you so much for your quick thinking and for your training. Uh, I'm indebted to you. So appreciation station, Misty, thank you so much. Alrighty, now animal and activity, everybody remember, tell me an animal doing something funny, something strange, something weird, and I will draw it for you. I'm gonna get my light blue color. Yesterday, for those who are curious, we drew a bowling toucan, a bowling toucan. So, you know, that's the kind of thing you want to be thinking about. Something funny, something unexpected, right? Uh, alrighty, so let's check out comments here, the section where we can look for what we got. A leopard dancing to tango, a chipmunk snorkeling, um, a rabbit eating tricks cereal, haha. 
An armadillo playing darts. Gosh, I don't know how to draw an armadillo, but I should. I should learn that. Um, what else do we have here? A shrimp cooking. A shrimp cooking. A spider waterboarding. Waterboarding. Uh, I assume that's like skimming on the water, not quite surfing. Um, what else do we have here? This chipmunk snorkeling is very cute. Steve, I'm going to do that. Here comes the chipmunk snorkeling. Okay, so I'm going to get that little snorkel. Kind of start with that for some reason. That just feels like it's the thing I should start with is that snorkel. Okay. And that just kind of gives me an idea of where I need to go with this. So I'm going to make a little chipmunk head. Boop. Get those little chipmunk ears back there. trying to remember what um, chipmunk's ears look like. I really can't think about it. Can't think of it. I mean, we have a hamster here in this house. Her name is Sniffles. Uh, and I know she's, you know, she's kind of about the same basic proportions. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's get the... Uh, body kind of bending up this way. That little chipmunk tail. Oh, I guess does the ch does chipmunk need to be wearing flippers? I guess that would make more sense, huh? Some flippers on that chipmunk. Move that like that. There we go. That's what we want. Do -do -do -do. They've got like a stripe down the back, don't they? It's like a white and black kind of situation, or a black stripe down the middle. I can't remember down the down the back, and like a white belly, I think. Right? <laughs> I'm kind of like in my mind just picturing um, Chip and Dale, the, uh, the two little Disney chipmunks. I swear they have like a little stripe or something. Kind of want to streamline the shape of that head a little bit. It feels more chipmunky to me. Kind of round it out like that. Okay, let's knock it back. And we'll come over that with a dark color. Ba bam. And let's see what we can do. Round that out. Oops, kind of more like that. Yeah, that feels kind of more like chipmunk shape. Snorkel around. Whoop. Get that stripe right there. Okay. got teeny tiny little um, arms. I probably made those arms a little too long. But, you know, they're swimming. Whatever. 
Same with the legs, they need to be a little, little shorter. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna shorten them up a little bit. And there's flipper number one and flipper number two. And let's hide that sketch. And uh, yeah, so they're, they're snorkeling. Got some little underwater plant life and all that business. And uh, there you go, gang. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun one. Not too shabby. Well, thanks for hanging out with me as always. I really appreciate it. And um, hope you enjoyed the draw along. I'll be back again next week, same time. Everybody take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remember to be kind, and uh, I'll just say ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.